There are a lot of games out there that already look stunning, and there's a lot of games that didn't really age too well. But with mods, you can make those stunning games look even more stunning, and make those older games look on par with some brand new games. Today in Game Rings, here are 10 graphics mods that drastically improve the game. Starting off at number 10, we have a mod for Shadow of War. This game already looked pretty nice, I'd say, and what's cool about this so-called ultra-realistic mod is that it doesn't do anything insane. It's actually a very simple mod. It's essentially reshading the game. I never noticed it before, but this game has a pretty harsh yellow filter on, and this mod actually removes that. It makes the game appear a whole lot cooler. And by cooler, I mean, like, temperature-wise. It also looks like it makes things less blurry, too. There's a castle or fortress or whatever in the background in one of the comparison shots. And in the shot with the mod on, you can see what's in the distance a little better. It's pretty crazy how making the game a tad bit cooler really makes a difference. The yellow filter is definitely way more harsh in other parts of the game, but this mod helps to fix it. Next up, we have a mod that makes Grand Theft Auto San Andreas look like it released closer to 2019 than 2004 when it originally launched. This Jefferson retextured mod by Heisen is pretty impressive. This modder thought of everything here. The lighting is great and the way it reflects off of puddles is really nice, and the way they reworked shadows is great too. Seeing trees or power lines casting a shadow here and there really adds to making the game look more new or photorealistic. I'd say that the cars benefit the most from this mod. Light bounces off them real good and you can see the reflection of stuff on the car's hood and they just look really nice with the updated textures. CJ himself does look kind of weird, like he doesn't seem to fit in now, but the whole world around him has gotten a lot nicer, but he doesn't look bad to the point where it makes this mod unusable because it is totally usable. Either way, if you were looking to replay San Andreas, this is definitely a cool way to do it. Next up at number 8, we have a Mass Effect 2 and 3 mod. This adds 2K and 4K textures to the second and third entry into the series. This is another mod that does something so small, but makes a surprisingly big difference. It turns out that the OG game had different resolutions that would be different per object, and this mod actually normalizes it all and sets it all to one resolution. It makes small stuff like medals and pins on a military jacket look higher res and actually legible. Turns out there are also some textures in the game that just weren't being utilized, and the mod team here re-enabled them to make everything look a bit sharper. The team also went ahead and made some brand new textures that will be added to the game over time. Like I said, the mod doesn't do anything crazy, like some of the other mods on this list, but it does enough to make a notable difference. Moving on to number 7, we have a GTA 4 mod. Just like other graphics mods, this mod works to redo GTA 4's environment and make it way more visually appealing. The Liberty City skyline with this mod installed looks even better, water looks more realistic, buildings and skyscrapers have had their textures redone to look more sharp. I don't talk about the stuff and get repetitive because most of these mods do the same thing, but in the trailer for this mod, there's a point where a nice sports car is driving over a bridge and you can see the city skyline off in the distance and it almost looks like it's real, like it's a really good picture. The cars are redone in such a way that the way the light reflects off them makes it look like they're brand new off of the show floor. Unfortunately, just at the San Andreas graphics mod on this list, the playable character Nico Bellic seems a wee bit out of place because of how much nicer everything around him looks. But honestly, that's a small price to pay to have Liberty City look this much nicer. Coming in at number 6, I think one of my biggest issues with Fallout 4 is how boring it looks. Everything is just grey and dirty, which I understand seeing that it does take place in a post-apocalyptic world. But then we get Fallout 76, which isn't an amazing Fallout game, yes I know, don't yell at me, but it does look very pretty. There's actual green and vegetation and the sun shines down and everything and it's just nicer to look at than Fallout 4. Thankfully there's the Enhanced Wasteland preset mod that you can install to fix this problem. It changes up the color color palette and makes everything in the game easier to look at without oversaturating everything and making it look too weird. Adding some life to the wasteland also makes it look sharper and better overall. I've been wanting to jump back into a Fallout game again and I think tossing this mod on might be what actually pushes me to do it. Moving on to number 5, Microsoft teased the super duper graphics pack for Minecraft back at E3 2017 and it was supposed to launch in the fall of that same year. But here we are in 2019 still waiting for it. According to a Minecraft Reddit community manager, the graphics engine wasn't powerful enough to support what they wanted to do so they had to start building a new graphics engine from scratch so who knows how long it'll be before we actually get that graphics pack. If you really want to make Minecraft look pretty and don't feel like waiting, there are more than enough graphics mods 
mods out. Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders is one of the best ones. One of the biggest thing this mod does is mess with the lighting in the game, and it's insane how nice it looks. It looks like a totally different game. There are actual clouds, and there are sun rays that shine through them and shine onto the water, creating these beautiful reflections. The water looks more realistic, as does the vegetation found throughout the world. It is pretty performance heavy though, so make sure you have a nice rig before you boot this up. Even with a powerful PC, you're still most likely going to see a drop in your frame rate, but look at this, it's totally worth it. Next up, at number 4, we have Skyrim. Now this isn't actually one mod, but is instead a bunch of mods thrown on top of each other. Installing mod after mod may have your rig working overtime, but I think think the way it looks is worth it. This actually makes the game ultra realistic and not just making everything super reflective or overly saturated. This legitimately makes everything look super sharp and makes the environment actually look and feel like you're walking through a forest. The water looks great too, it's not overly reflective but is instead the perfect amount of reflective and the way it moves and flows looks great. If you want to get your game to look like this, check out Cinetar Gaming. They have a pretty good guide on what mods to install and how to install them, so give that a look. And at number 3 we have the Resident Evil 4 HD Project. This is something that I'm pretty sure we've talked about here before. This has actually been in development since 2014 and it's still being worked on. The last update on the project was actually posted this month in April 2019. The idea of this project is to remaster all of Resident Evil 4, redoing all the textures and making it truly HD. Some of the work done in this project has been amazing too. It's amazing how much some retexturing can really do. Everything from vegetation and water to the cracks and an old decaying door have all been redone to look better. With projects like this I've noticed that it's the character models that don't really get upgraded too much, I guess they're more set in stone than environmental stuff, but here even some of the character models look significantly better. There are HD versions of Resident Evil 4 that have been officially released, but I gotta say that none of them look as nice as this does. Head on over to RE4HD.com and check it out for yourself because they're doing some amazing work. Next up at number 2, moving on to another GTA mod, we have one for GTA 5. Right off the bat, those other GTA mods that we've talked about don't have shit against this one. Everything here, and I mean everything, looks absurdly nice. All of the colors in the game are way oversaturated, but like not in a bad way. Most of the time it works out for them. The sky is super bold blue and the sunsets look stunning and it looks just like you're walking in real life. The clouds too just look super realistic. There's a scene shown in one of the trailers where they're driving down a street at night and there are puddles and the street lights and the neon signs reflect off of the puddles and the cars and you just can't decide where you want to look. Do you remember the first trailer we got for the GTA 5 remaster when it was bouncing over to the next gen consoles? Yeah, this is definitely what they wanted that trailer to look like. And finally, a number one, yeah, we know, Star Wars Battlefront 2 left a bad taste in everybody's mouth for obvious reasons, but there's no denying how good the game looks visually. You think it couldn't look any better, but it can. There's a real life mod that you can download that makes Battlefront 2 look even better. It looks like you're actually watching a Star Wars movie. The blinding white of the ship that's transporting Princess Leia and the Death Star plans to the snowy dreariness that is Starkiller base, the sands of Tatooine, the bright greens and water of Naboo, and the empty black that is space. All these locations just pop that much more with this mod on, making it feel like you're really sitting there. That same dude actually found an unfinished weather variant for Jakku within the game files that causes a sandstorm that looks really cool as well. It's not available for download, but it's just cool to look at, and we just wanted to share it with you because Star Wars. And those are 10 mods that make games look photorealistic, but we want to hear from you. So meet us down in the comments and let us know what you think. As I'm sure you already know, hitting that like button really helps us out. And if you're new here, hitting that subscribe button is a good idea because we put out videos like this every single day. As always, thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time right here on GameRanks.